literally just put the bike up because it was raining and now it looks like the sun wants to poke out So yeah guys, the sun decided to poke out a little bit before uh, I got to go into work, so I'm going to do a quick first ride and my first impressions on the Z125 Pro. This is a 2018, if you saw the videos of me picking it up, um, or if you haven't, go back and watch those. But like I said in those videos, um, I haven't owned a Grom, I haven't even ridden a Grom or a Z125 before picking this thing up so really the only thing i can compare this to is like a ttr 125 you know like a 125 trail dirt bike and the power is pretty similar honestly to one yeah the streets are for sure still a little bit wet i mean it literally just stopped raining gave me a little bit of a window to open up a little bit of a window to uh film this video So let's talk about why I got this bike. Well, I've always kind of had an itch for a Grom or a, when I saw these came out, I actually didn't really know much at all about these. I think a lot of people don't really know a lot about the Z125s, doing some deliveries and just riding this thing around. Um, a lot of people were like, yo, what is that, man? What What is that thing? And some people would be like, is that a Grom? And I'm like, no, nah, man, that's Kawasaki's version of uh, the Grom, basically. And one dude actually asked me, he said, yo, is that a is that a moped or is that a motorcycle? And I was like, uh, it's kind of more like a dirt bike, but yeah, I guess it, it's a motorcycle. <laughs> so yeah, just to give a little look at it for anyone who didn't see it in, the, in my uh, video, me picking it up. Um, it's a pretty clean bike. Obviously, just got rained on and everything, but uh, it had had about 100 miles on it when I got it. And I've been using it here and there for deliveries, but um, I really only got it about a week ago. So, really been liking it. Why I got it? Like I said, I've always had a little bit of an itch for a Grom or something like that. And when I started doing the when I did that first delivery, I had kind of fun with that and wanted something else. I could kind of a little bit more street oriented but uh still good on gas mileage and that is this machine right here it gets about i'd say it gets around 70 miles per gallon somewhere somewhere around there maybe even a little bit more because i don't really ride it hard but really cool looking bike i think it's more i said this when i picked it up but i think it's more like they went after the look of a street bike more uh kawasaki did then honda with the grom the grom is kind of just its own little unique looking thing but this looks more like a mini motorcycle but still still has its own little thing going on as well too but yeah great little bike so obviously so yeah you can take it off road and the suspension is not great it's not going to be like a see this is super sandy right here but this is not going to kind of fulfill your needs of a pit bike it's not gonna does not handle like that but it can go off-road not too bad but yeah I was thinking about getting like you know this the uh, a little bit of an off-road tires just because I kind of liked how they looked but I'm I'm not really going to be taking this thing off road at all, pretty much. So I'm I'm really content with the street tires I have on it now. Third gear.
definitely a fun bike to ride around on in my opinion um, obviously it's not a fast bike that's not what this thing is um, but you can still have fun riding it on the road and it kind of teaches you to carry your speed more which can be fun in other ways too because you're using everything you got out of this bike uh, when you're riding it around and with that being said about trying to carry your speed more kind of when you get it going it has like it gets in the power and you got some you're, when you're moving along you got the power right, right there and uh I don't know, it's really fun. And also, it's such, a, it's such a small bike with a pretty short wheelbase. It really just goes wherever you lean it without much effort at all. Let me turn around right here. As far as plans for modifications, I don't really know if I'm going to be wanting to do many modifications. I think I might do an exhaust on it, possibly. Um, but really all I've done to it so far, and I know this mirror is a little loose right now, uh, all I've done to it so far is got this, uh, is I've gotten this phone mount for deliveries to, uh, to mount my phone for doing food deliveries. And it's not the most expensive, you know, RAM mount or quad lock, whatever they have. Um, this is just a $12 Amazon phone mount. Um, and it's yeah, it's never dropped my phone yet, so I'll I'll link it in the description if any, anyone wants to check it out. Anyways, that's gonna be about do it for this video, going over my first ride and first impressions of the bike. Overall, I've been really loving the Z125. I've been using it a lot more than I initially thought I would. I find myself taking it out to do deliveries here and there, and just go out for rides on it. It's a super comfortable bike on the road. Um, I am possibly looking to getting a new a little aftermarket seat maybe a little more comfortable hopefully um but the stock seat gets the job done anyways guys that's that's gonna about do it it's a super solid bike be sure to subscribe for more videos coming out on the z125 as well as my klx 300 and we'll see you guys in the next one